Hi guys, Jurella here, Grey Wolf TV, and we are back with more reactions to Travellers. We're starting season three, which is actually the final season, and the end of season two has kind of thrown all sorts of problems into the works because Vincent has managed to somehow figure out how to get this Simon to build Quantum Frame to enable him to be able to transport from one body and to be put into another host. And he had no intentions of fixing Simon whatsoever. But in the meantime, to be able to uncover all this plan and sideline everyone while he was doing it, he has had all of them record messages on video explaining who they are, where they're from, what they're doing, why they're here, all of it, and he's announced it to the world. And we ended where a helicopter turned up with all their loved ones, McLaren's wife, David, all of them, and they don't want to know because they've lied to them from day one and they've now found out that the people that they love and they care about aren't actually them anymore. They are complete strangers. The government is onto it on these back channels that have been using on the dark web. They are classing them as terrorists. So it's all gone to hell. Why the director hasn't got involved yet, I don't know, but I'm presuming it's going to. Anyway, I'm not going to really do a recap. That's kind of a recap of the previous season. So we're just going to carry straight on. I'm expecting something new to come along. Let's begin with episode one. Joanna. Listen to me carefully. I'll work out, boss. Sure, I will. I've sent people for you. You said you were going to fix me. And that's just what we're going to do. You've done well. I'm cold. I know. See? Time of oh, death. I want to go home. Be strong now. You said you would fix me. I am fixing you. Yes, by having you run over by a freight train. He lied. Damn! That's a bit extravagant. I don't think this is him anymore. I don't remember how I got here or what we were celebrating. You were in trouble with a loan shark uh, named Fergies? You came to me, asked me to play some bets. We came back here to watch him come in and hilarity ensued. You're out of the hole with a little extra. Keep him sweet oh, now. Vargi's more than this. Well, he's been paid. That's that's the extra. Fuck off. <laughs> Man, I love you. Oh, <laughs> then please explain your request that I issue a cancellation order of a highly classified, highly complex operation of which you should have had zero knowledge, and which is scheduled to begin worldwide in 23 minutes. It's from the director. He is the FBI director. Last I checked. I think Not everyone one. in this room knows to which director I'm referring. So the memory inhibitor worked. It was the easy one. Yeah. Bad in the cash. Now you can get back to cleaning up our mess. I hope I never see Jeff again. You can still make it work. He won't remember the last 24 hours. Please, they're gonna need to forget a hell of a lot more than that, and you know it, Marcy. And once a new traveler in Ingram confesses he went off his meds. Yeah, but see, you make it sound ridiculous. Hey, I'm from the future. I'm not sure I'd buy it myself. Which is why we Ow. have to make sure our stories are straight so we can all get back to our Protocol 5. Oh, what do you think? You could just undo all of this? Just put it all back into a box? We try. Yes. You gonna order me to stay with him? You gonna tell me what the bruising on your knuckles is all about? Ah. Like, where are we? And how long have I been in these clothes? an FBI safe house in the country and a couple days. Catherine, you were found unconscious yesterday. What's the first thing you remember about the abduction? His men. We woke up in a room with five chairs and then they took us out one by one to talk to a woman, a doctor. Dr. Perot. You know what, that's it, that's all I remember. I'm not talking to no one else until someone shows me my son. 
I told you, Jeff Jr. has been well taken care of. And I told you that that is unacceptable. Come with me, Mr. Mailer. I'm gonna be asking why he's sleeping with the girl that's in the care of the state. Simon? Traveler 5069. You knew my host? Oh. Uh, yeah, I, I did. First things first. We need to reactivate that code you embedded in those obscene confession recordings you made ASAP. You should know. Your host body suffers from extreme paranoid schizophrenia. Hmm. Severe enough that our medic couldn't synthesize a drug to prevent it. Simon was pretty much incapable of functioning in 21st society, let alone as a traveler. He'll probably experience a psychotic episode in the next few hours. That's the body the director chose for you. All right, keep us apprised. We just captured the traveler designated 0027 attempting to escape before the assault. Did she activate her comm device? If she has one, she didn't try. No, then we're still on. You were saying the director communicated to you. Yes, it spoke to me. That's not possible. The director is only capable of communicating directly through what they call messengers. And you're... The person you just called and insisted I come here is a matter of national security. I just forgot your name. And Ilsa, this is, uh, what, what's your first name again? Good evening, Dr. Teslia. Would you like to play a nice game of chess? <laughs> Whoa! No one ever. What game, Slashback? Okay. Ilsa is an AI that replaces Boolean logic with quantum law on an algorithmic level. There's maybe three others as powerful in the whole world. They gave you my cell number? No. No, oh, Ilsa is practically a newborn. The director gave me a number. I said, communicate it through I this, what he's built here. Joanne. What? I just heard the news myself. How would it know that? That's the director talking now. OK, uh, who are you? A sentient multi flop quantum frame speaking to you from centuries in the future. How did you know? From my time. The bird strike and emergency landing of Flight 0718 is a part of historical record, as was your mother's diagnosis. Have I convinced you? No. What do you want from me? We should have done. To deliver a message to your superiors. Tell them yourself. I have no means of directly communicating outside of this room. What? Discovery was inevitable at this juncture of the grand plan. Ah. Cooperation with the 21st century authorities is now the optimal path. The man I had worked alongside for 10 years had been replaced by an imposter. How? A traveler supplants a host consciousness with his or her own, then pretends as if nothing's changed. It's how they come here from their own time. It's insidious. It's murder. And the reason this operation must continue on schedule, however much you try to convince us otherwise. Who knows how David's going to handle this? David's fine. He's chatty. Uh-oh. Him and Catherine will be ready for you soon, but uh, Jeff's a different story. Your medic is worried that he's resistant to memory inhibitor. He's now colic. I gave him a stronger dose to compensate, but his tolerance may be high. Miss Shannon has been working for me. FBI? Yes. Carly Shannon, FBI? For several months. <laughs> I don't think so. Why do you think she's capable of kicking your ass? She, she don't got it in her. Not my Carly. But then again, my Carly is gone. Is this girl? This girl's not Carly. This girl's a completely different person. I wanted you to know that I remember things that I didn't tell your boy upstairs about. And it's not all there yet. Not all at once. Just itty bitty pieces percolating like the morning after the night you've been drinking. By who? Can't say who or how many, but we saw some footprints. Footprints? That's it? We need to get proper reinforcements to take them out. The director's code should allow traveler teams to identify every copy of your ill-conceived confessions that's out there. Thanks. Although the effort hardly seems worth it. No one from the 21st would actually believe that. What's wrong? Here, here comes your psychotic break. I uh, thought that I saw it. You ran away. No, because things are getting worse here. I'm trying to save you. What did you say? What are you looking at? Mm. My friend's not really there, is he? No. No, we're alone. I've felt like this before, Grant. Like what? That I've lost something. 
time. I woke up once months ago feeling yeah. this way. She's had this twice. Remember the day your SUV was stolen? You said I had too much to drink. What are you trying to make me forget? Jesus, Kat, why would I... You were held by a mass serial killer who thought time travelers were out to get him. I know. Isn't that the stupidest thing you ever heard? Uh -huh. Um. Mac, Wakefield's team just plugged out of here and there are soldiers taking up positions all around us. Mac, we are outmanned and outgunned. Get your you ass are. out here. Yeah. You're surrounded. I've got to go back outside. Huh? I was just told my mother was essentially brain dead, but it was going to take time. Last night she spoke to me. Listen to me carefully. How's it done this? Tell him the bargain he made that autumn morning was not with his god, but with me. Huh? Sir? How many? More than we can fight. Where's Wakefield? Sir? All units stand down. Operations canceled. No go. I repeat, no go. All units stand down and pull back by order of Director Stevenson. They're leaving. What? That autumn morning, I was also in a hospital room. Our daughter Claire was dying from a rare form of cancer. She spoke to you. the director again, isn't it? I will save her life. There will come a day of reckoning. I never told a soul. She began to improve the next morning. It was a miracle. No. The director cured her. Hmm. I read reports of their advanced technology. So, what do we do now? Not a clue. Okay, what a season opener that was. That was intense all the way through and really complicated because they fed us just a tiny enough piece of information at each moment to leave you sufficiently confused as to what is actually going on. Right, so let's see if we can get this right. So, way back whenever, the director saw a moment where it knew all of the Traveller teams were going to be exposed worldwide. It knew at some point this was going to be inevitable. It was going to happen. There's nothing it could do about it. Whether it, it had um, put uh, Vincent Ingram into that happening as well, that it would be him that instigated it, or whether it just saw it coming and all, I don't know. Whether it, it included Ingram in, his, in its plan as to why it would all go wrong. So it saved the life of that little girl who he knew would eventually become the agent who would be the team that would be put together to try and expose all these terrorists, travellers, whatever you want to call them, worldwide. That's the understanding of your deal wasn't with God, it was with me. That was brilliant on the part of the director, but then again, it is what it is. And the whole team was literally about to be wiped out again because they thought they were protecting us, our time, our people, our way of life, our governments, all the rest of it. And that's not what it appears to be. And it pulled this other agent in to have it explained to him. But it is obviously clearly communicated with this quantum computer that this guy has built here even though that thing isn't connected to the outside outside world which was um what that guy explained which is smart because like i said you don't just give it the keys to the car and let it run before it can walk you need to know what it's capable of and how it would see humanity if it truly is the first real ai that this guy's invented so the director's spoken through that what a complicated bloody storyline on top of all the fact that we are trying to put a band-aid in effect on everything that's happened at the end of the last episode 
with Carly's boyfriend, David, McLaren's wife, Ray, all the rest of them. The only part I wasn't quite so sure about was with what happened to Simon. I think the sequence of events was Vincent Ingram had done with him, who is now the woman whose body he's, he's now in. Had him trans his guys transport him to a train track to finish him off. The director obviously knew historically that that's where he would be killed sent someone back at that point to come back to Philip's shop and fix all of the videos that have gotten out worldwide for them to be able to trace where they are and remove them. I think I've got that right. I don't know. I'm not 100% because there was a lot going on in that episode and a lot to figure out. But what a brilliant opener to the season. So it now sees that the only way forward from this point is to be able to cooperate with the FBI and the FSB and who are Interpol, all the government agencies around the world who are onto them. You can't wipe everybody. You can't make all of it go away. You need to do what any two enemies would do. And that would be come up with a compromise, come up with a ceasefire, come up with a plan and explain why you're doing what you're doing. I think that's where this storyline is going to go. But that was... One hell of an opening episode. That's the most confused I've been for quite a while. Carly's boyfriend, I think, is still a problem because he drinks and their memory inhibitor thing doesn't work properly when people have had alcohol in their system. He is putting pieces, piece, bits and pieces together as it goes along. And the director can't get involved unless this guy is supposed to die at some point in the future. So he can't just overwrite him they're gonna to have to fix it themselves mclaren's wife is still majorly suspicious because she's had this done to her twice now um ray's perfectly fine because i think even marcy said in that episode well ray was the easy one so he's happy with the story that he's been told so I guess we'll just have to wait and see what the heck happens next now so that guy has ordered all his team to back off and he's just said himself right what's next what do we do now and that is where we'll leave it until we find out because none of us know that was episode one and a fabulous owner right don't forget the episode will be available over on patreon as always link will be in the description if you want to watch the full length episode and i'll be back with another episode of travelers next week until then please post your comments down below let me know what you think don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more episodes and i'll see you for the next one so then guys thanks a lot for watching hope you enjoyed the video see you for the next one